test chamber and we've been conducting a series of experimental burns in this room this week. And this research project that we're doing with the University of Canterbury is all about the safety of New Zealanders in buildings, so it's a public good research project. So, so we've got three materials that we're using. So here we've got polyurethane foam, which is a flammable material, and, and that's used for soft um, furnishing, so armchairs and couches in homes and buildings, so normally you'd have some sort of fabric and stuff like that, but it, for the case of this experimental research we're not going to that level of complexity, we're just dealing with exposed polyurethane foam. So that's the first material. The second material here is standard MDF board, so medium density fibre board, and that's the sort of material that's used for cabinetry in houses, so shelving and joinery and kitchens, etc, etc furniture and lounges, so that's the second material, and we've made here a 600 cube, which is not a typical item, but from our research point of view that's something that's easy to repeat every time. And then the third material that we're using here is a material called ABS plastic, which is what's used for TVs and computer monitors and those sort of items, and there, once again, it's quite a combustible material and contributes quite a bit to the fire load in a building. So we're sort of replicating here a sort of flat screen TV, so it's not a real TV. It's just two sheets of ABS plastic between a steel frame, but from the point of view of repeating a whole lot of experiments, it's really easy to repeat that, and the same with the other items here in this room. So these are the three materials that are sort of representing typical contents, combustible contents, in a, a room in a building where a fire might break out. So what we've done is we've gone through a pr process called blind modelling. So we've agreed these layouts beforehand and then we've done the modelling and then we're doing the experiments afterwards. And we're trying different layouts, different scenarios within the room. run different iterations on our computer model and try out different parameters and then we're comparing the experimental results with the modelling results. And what we do is we gather data from these experiments and then we compare it to the modelling and the idea is to hopefully get a quite close match between the experimental results and the modelling and then we can be confident that the model has been validated and it's suitable for use by practitioners who are doing fire safety design in buildings. been really fascinating this week. It's a fantastic opportunity. So the vast majority of fire safety engineering practitioners never get to see this sort of real life stuff. All they're doing is doing computer modelling and their reality is a computer screen often. Whereas here we're getting a really good handle on what happens in real fire situations, how fire spreads and grows and things like that. And it's been, as I say, fascinating and very informative. It's just incredible with research of this nature, how unpredictable results can be, and that very much is what fire is like, it's just so random and unpredictable.